Hi, I'm Alex Rackner, and uh, I'm a two-year-old specialist based out of Decatur, Texas. Yeah, in my mind, Gerald Alexander was, you know, probably the best two-year-old guy in the business and has been for a long time. And I think that um, Alex has the uh, ability to be the next, uh, be the next two-year-old guru, if you want to, you know, you could say that. I mean, uh, just the way he gets his coats broke and ties them to a cow at the same time. To me, that's key. It's, I think you can do whatever you want to do with a colt as long as you tie it to the cow. It works, and that's what I like about Alex's two-year-olds. As you can see, they he can stop them, turn them, do whatever he wants to do with them, and they're still hooked to the cow. And that makes all the difference in the world following somebody makes it a lot easier when I get them as three-year-olds. If they're broke enough, you can do what you want to do with them and, and they work, know how to work a cow. Grew up on Kauai, little island in Hawaii, and grew up on my dad's ranch just riding horses since I was able to walk. And uh, my dad got into cutting when I was pretty young and got introduced to it that way and got to spend some time on the west coast with uh, some really good trainers out there when I was a kid and was uh, lucky enough to spend a few years around Carlos Benuelos when I was younger and learned a lot about colts from him and eventually ended up here in Texas. Uh, was really lucky to get to be a uh, Ronnie Rice's assistant for a few years and Ronnie helped me with a lot of the same things you know just focusing on training a cow horse and I probably got a lot of my work ethic from him that horse needs to be tied to a cow and that's the most important thing in our program um, I mean I feel like anybody can get along with a horse behind me but I really try to get get them tied to a cow and make that kind of their foundation and that's probably been my biggest thing. I mean <clears throat> I try to approach them all as individuals but and I try to get them real broke and all that but I try to base everything on a cow. I like starting them on cattle pretty early and um, making that kind of the common denominator but treating them all as individuals and just making them the best they can they can be whether they're going to be open horses non-pro horses amateur horses just kind of finding their spot in the big picture and 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 making them the best they can be the thing i've been most impressed with is the level of communication and like lee said their work ethic um, there's not one thing that comes up that Sindel doesn't contact me. We're in constant communication about the horses, even so much as, you know, the vet appointments. Um, we're kind of working together on that to keep horses on their maintenance programs and on schedule so it fits, it rolls right into our program. And uh, she calls me about anything that comes up. There's never a surprise. If they're having an issue with anything, I hear from her immediately. and. Um, I'll talk to her a lot of time on Sundays, they're working horses. I, I never have any doubts that the horses are getting exactly what they need. Hi, I'm Sindel Rackner, um, Alex Rackner's wife. Um, I graduated from Kansas State. I have a bachelor's degree in animal science, and that has a lot to do with the program with, when it comes to just noticing small characteristics of a horse. But um, I learned this from uh, Miss Teresa. Uh, I don't let horses sit in stalls. A lot of our two-year-olds 
are in pasture, but there's um, there's some that are in stalls, and I don't like them sitting in stalls um, for one day. Um, I like to get them out, get them moving. I'm big on communication, whether it's with um, Lee, Holly, my husband, customers. Like I'm big on updates and communication, and um, I don't like to leave anybody in the dark on anything. I treat all of these horses like they're my own, and um, any small attention to detail, I give it.